Hello everyone, today is Tuesday and you know what that means. It is time for another Tech Tip Tuesday. So today what we're going to be talking about is a function in JobBoss called Shop View. One of the first things I want to point out here that you will notice is on the screen here that we have um, a option here down below to the left that is called view only mode. So as long as someone has this box checked, when they log into Job Boss, what they're going to get is Job Boss in view only mode. And what that's going to allow you to do is have access, even if all of your licenses are currently being used, to get into Shop View or Shop Stats. Now, again, they can't change anything in Job Boss, but they can still view things accordingly. So as you can see in my Job Boss Explorer, I don't have the modules or the reports tab, but I still have access to Shop View and Shop Stats uh, on the top menu option here or in the board of the menu item down below here. So we're going to go into Shop View, and today again we're just going to be concentrating on two different tabs, that is the Job and Sales Order tab. So I'm going to go into Job 10144, and just note that if you're not seeing jobs populate, it could be because of the status option you have here. So you might need to change this to All in order to be able to have the job come up. When I click Apply Filters, that is going to open up my world to a lot of information about this job. So we have really two halves of the screen here. We have the upper half that gives me details about the job, and the lower half is controlled by these tabs. And the three that we're going to look at here today is the Routings tab, the Materials tab, and the Deliveries tab. Now we can see a lot of information here on the Routings tab. Uh, and the one thing I really want to point out as we scroll back and forth, you can see there's lots of information here, but you're going to see these little icons popping up in different places. And these icons are going to give you further information if you double click into them. So for example, my outside service shows us started. So I'm going to double click on that icon and it shows me that we've sent over under this pack list number 200 to the outside vendor but we haven't received them back in yet. And that there's also an additional tab here that is for purchase orders and RFQs. If I go into that tab, I can actually see the purchase order number that was created and again what was ordered on the PO and what was actually received in. So since we haven't received in any yet, again my balance due is 200. So the key in shop view is Yes, you've got a lot of information looking right at you in the face um, when you go into it, but don't forget about these little icons. So now I'm going to jump over to the Materials tab, and you'll see we have similar icons here for my buys and for my picks. So the buys have icons. Picks are pretty straightforward, so you can see what was picked for each item. But for the buys, you can also double click on these icons in the required quantity column and actually see the PO details for the purchases that you made, those direct buys on this job. And so again, I implore you to take the time uh, to go through the different tabs and see what data is available to you in Shop View. Now, I'm going to get back to the search screen by clicking the search button here on top, and I'm going to go into a sales order now. And so let's go ahead and do that here. And for sales orders, I have a lot of information on the screen, but sales orders are driven more by the tree here on the left. So I can click, click I can keep, <laughs> hard to talk, I can keep clicking on different items here in the job menu or in the sales order menu in this tree to see different things. So I can see details about sales order 60011. I can see details about the job that was created to supply the demand for sales order 60011 and I can even go in and look at the routings accordingly and look at who actually did any type of time entries accordingly. Now going back to jobs just for a moment, you can also go ahead and open up uh, the tree to actually see those time entries on the job. So we can see here Anthony Parker, he clocked into the laser for some setup time and some run time and we can see the quantity he did. So that's a little bit about Shop View for today, and that will wrap up our Tech Tip Tuesday video for today. Again, be looking out, keep those eyes peeled for another video, 
in a couple of weeks where we'll have a new topic uh, for that Tech Tip Tuesday. So for now, have a great couple of weeks, and we'll see you back here soon.